obviously extraordinarily disappointed. Um, tough to win games when you play without discipline. And that is the word of the day for us. We were as undisciplined as you can be. Um, not that they need any help, but I thought we gave them a huge helping hand tonight. You know, you get 50 shots, 12 goals isn't enough. We were undisciplined with our shooting. You know, we made mistakes like sliding up the field when we shouldn't. Um, now, to their credit, they did a great job of taking advantage of those opportunities. That's what a good team does. Um, and that is a good team and a well-coached team. Um, you know, we talked about taking away transition. And I thought our middies did a great job for the most part. But there were moments where we let them get up and out. And then we made mistakes. We, don't, we slide up the field. Um, you know, we got a chance to clear the ball at the end. We don't clear it. We throw it to them. You know, it's frustrating. But you know what? That's, that, that's on me. If, my team, if the team is undisciplined, then it's on me. Because obviously I haven't done a good enough job instilling the discipline that we need to be successful. And that's what cost us this game tonight was our discipline. They're a very good team. Um, they're very capable of scoring goals. Um, you know, I, I give them all the credit in the world for, uh, you know, for cashing in on those opportunities. But you can't expect to win when you hand teams opportunities and you, you hand good teams opportunities. And we handed them a bunch tonight. I thought the two differences in the game were him and the goal and our lack of discipline. You know, um, we have a, an innate ability to, you know, to, he's played well against us, you know, and uh, to his credit, when he needed to make a couple big ones, he made them. I'm going to tell, tell you, his 12 weren't easy. His 12 weren't easy. He, he made a couple um, midway through the game. And, uh, you know, so credit to him, but you know what? You look at it, and you hold B to the one goal, and you hold um, Hennenberg to none. That's 60% of their offense. And we, we you know, and you know, Charlie Beatty's gets five. Coach, you talk about lack of discipline. Was there anything in practice leading up to the game? Look, we've been battling this all year. You know, it's, uh, I've said this a number of times, there have been moments where I feel like we're playing against our opponent and ourselves. You know, and you, you, in this league, you're playing against quality teams. So to think that you're going to beat a good team, you know, playing against them and making too many mistakes, whether it's failed clears in the clearing game, whether it's offensive turnovers and throwing the ball away unnecessarily, whether it's, um, you know, miscues on slides, um, you know, discipline is simple. It's doing what's right all the time. And we're not doing what's right enough of the time, you know, to, to help ourselves. And you got to help yourself. And I don't know that we helped ourselves. And again, that's not to take anything away from, from Rutgers at all. I have great respect for what Brian's done. He's been accused of coach of the year, and that's a well-deserved award. His team has done a good job. But if you told me we hold uh, Hennenberg to, to no goals and, uh, and Bita, who's, I think, their heart and soul, to one, I would tell you we win. If you tell me we get 50 shots, I'll tell you we win. But if you told me we was, were as undisciplined as we would be, you know, that's a big deal. You know, people may not agree with me, uh, but I still think we're an NCAA playoff team. When you look at our numbers, mm -hmm. we should be, you know, unless – Something crazy happens, which it can, but you look, Towson wins today. Um, you know, Albany not winning doesn't really do a lot for you, but, um, you know, Bryant losing and some of these other teams that lost, um, Syracuse winning the ACC, those are all good things for us. And right now, you know, we got three, three wins in the top 20. We got a top 10 win. Um, our RPI is good and our SOS is excellent. And I don't see it, go, you know, dropping at all, all much against a team like this. If anything, I think it, it might improve because they beat us. We're playing a good team. Now they're going to turn around and play Maryland. That helps us. So, you know, what you do, Gary, is by not winning this game, you leave some things to chance. But 
You know, I still believe in my heart that we belong in the NCAA playoffs. I, I believe we've, we, we've done enough. Given what's gone on and what some other teams have done, I believe we, we belong. Uh, you know what, Gary? I don't care. You know, you, you gave away that opportunity tonight. You know, tonight you're playing for a berth and, you know, a nice seat in a home game. But, you know, at this point, you take what you're given, and if we're given that, you know, that opportunity, then, you know what, hopefully we'll be a lot more disciplined and we'll play, uh, we'll play better. We're certainly going to play another good team like we played tonight. You in that 6-5 first quarter kind of rock on soccer. Did you feel like you guys were getting away with some of those discipline issues in that Yeah, this isn't a game, you know, that you want to, <laughs> you know, the higher the score gets, I think the more it favors them. Because that's the way they're playing. They play fast. You know, to their credit, they play a style of play that's challenging. I mean, they play old school up and down. And, um, you know, you got to work to be prepared for it. You got to keep your middies on. You got to be committed to keep your middies on. And we, we were. Um, but they are, they, they're very good at it. Brian Brecht has done a really great job of figuring out a recipe for them to be successful. And... Uh, you know, when you, you're six five at the end of one, you know, that's a, I'm looking at it going, that's too many goals. Things slowed down for a little bit in the second half, and then they picked up uh, again. And, uh, you know, they're a team that can go on playing spurts and, and, and runs, and uh, you got to limit those runs, and we didn't limit them enough tonight. You take too long at times in the second half for the ball to find its way to run. Uh, you know what? No, I don't think we took too long. You know, you, you, we can't spend the whole night looking for Ryan. You know, when teams are going to do, do things to take him away. Um, Ryan had more than his fair share of opportunities. Um, you know, I don't know how many goals. He had five goals. Ryan Brown got five goals. He got his fair share of opportunities. Um, you know, now five of 15 is not ideal. But nonetheless, you know, we get five goals from him. Um, you know, we need to get more from, from others. And we need to cash in on those opportunities. But, you know, again, Gary, you know me well enough. I've always said we score 12 goals, we should win. That's, that's, the, that's the way I think. That's what I believe in. And, uh, you know, we just didn't play good enough defensively to keep them from scoring more. We have time for one more, guys. I thought the crucial point was a 7-5, and five, maybe a little bit of a quick shot, and then they come down and score two or three in a row or not. Yeah, you know, Chris, you, you, you know, tempo is an important thing, and understanding tempo with a group like this is important. You know, I don't think we struggled to get good shots tonight in any sense of the word, um, and I think we got them from the guys we wanted them from. Um, but it's not, you know, sometimes a shot will present itself and it's not the most appropriate time. We need to kind of just take a little bit of time, um, settle things down, get everybody a touch, and give the group down the other end a break. But I don't, uh, you know, when a, when a good opportunity like that presents itself, you know, it's awful hard to tell a guy, you got a nice shot, don't pull the trigger. Um, you know, your, your thought is that we're going to put, the, we're going to bury the ball and then we're going to go face off. And, uh, you know, I thought we did, you know, a, a nice job at the face off. That's, again, that's two games in a row. I thought we did a good job off the ground. I thought we did a good job clearing the ball. You know, we did a lot of those things. You know, the thing that bothers me most, I guess, is in the first game, we didn't play hard. We didn't play motivated. We didn't play with the effort that we should have. We did those things tonight. We didn't execute and play with discipline.